Hey, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. On Twin Cities Live, we like making the most of food. That's right, yeah, yeah. and we're going to do just that today. So our friend Rob Barrett from Cooking for Dads likes making recipes with, you know, easy to follow steps because that's what dads <laughs> like, right? <laughs> like this one you can find on his YouTube channel. Okay, today we're making his poor man's sourdough bread. <laughs> Why is this man so poor? What's happening here? Well, right? That's what I, I like the color. Uh, by the way, I love your hair. I just Thanks. love the color. Yours as well. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I call the poor man sourdough bread and the fine Mrs. Barrett said, there's nothing poor about it. You're just lazy. <laughs> So we call it lazy man sourdough bread for a while. Okay, yeah, and then, I like that. Then producer Cece said, why don't we call it easy sourdough? Easy. Okay, so we're still workshopping, but I like that your wife really holds your feet to the fire. She's good for you. I Rob. have a lot of blisters on the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so normally you, you do, we were just talking off yep. air, you do a starter, you you know, but it takes a lot of work. Yeah. To get a starter going, it takes seven days. Yeah, and I have right? a sourdough starter, and then I feed it, and then right. I discard, and then I use that. Yeah, it's a, okay, I mean, so it's really Okay, so back up real quick. How do you, what do you mean starter? Like, how do you, how do you just, because it's a bacteria? Yes, right? Let me, let me jump yeast. ahead. Can I show you? Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix flour and water and sugar and let it sit for two days. Okay. That's it. And you get this. So Ooh. it's bubbly. So it's like yeah. a bubbly, so like Play-Doh. Natural yeast oh, wow. that's in the air. Yep. And then it smells kind of it's soury. Yeah. You know? no, it totally so you don't do anything. We're kind of cutting, the, throwing the segment out here. <laughs> we're doing it. No, yeah. but look. So that's the natural yeast that's in the air, and it just and that's what instead of adding yeast to like a normal bread, you use the natural yeast that grows in just it's right. And then the it. yeast ferments the flour, and then it, it turns into this like you know a super probiotic. That's good for you. So normally, yeah, instead fermented. of two days, that's seven day process. But you've got to take some out and put it back in yep. and feed it and do all this stuff. We, we don't not gonna do any of that. We okay. are going to take uh, our normal bread recipe okay. that we've done in the past, and we're going to split the flour in half. Sure. So we split the flour in half. We're going to add all the water, mm -hmm. and then once you add the sugar, three spoonfuls of sugar. Okay. And we're just going to stir this together until it combines. And this is what you're going to let sit. We're gonna, so once this this is going to form gluten-y little strands real quick. Oh, so that's it. It's just flour, water, and then the sugar. And the sugar is kind of the fuel that it. The, the, the fuel for the. It's not actually a bacteria. It's actually a fungus. Really? The, the gross, right? The yeast is a fungus. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds appetizing. So you're going to get some nice <laughs> gluten-y stuff. We're going to cover this, put it aside for two days. And then it turns into that. It turns into just this. Just like on Got your it. counter. Like on your it? counter. Okay, not in the fridge or anything? No. Okay. No, okay. just like, yeah. so now we're going to add the rest of the stuff. So why don't you scoop this into our <laughs> thing? Oh, wow. Do it. This is going to be really gratifying Is, for is you. this like the yeah. satisfying YouTube? I think oh, you're going to like this. Yeah, this. You're going to find this enjoyable. See how different that is? Yeah. You can't see it on TV because no. we're blocking it. But yeah. There he gets it. He's going to do it. Look how look how long and gluten-y strand. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. that. Oh, it's, it's like, like a pizza a Wendy's commercial. Yeah, it's like a pizza commercial or something. Right. Look at so that. So that's the dough or are you going to add more? We're going to add more. That's half. That's oh just gosh, kind of our sourdough so part. Look at that. It really is a different kind of dough. This is an interesting method. I'm very intrigued by this. Thank you. All right. A little snowball came out <laughs> <laughs> this is gold. You can't lose yeah, that yeah, anyway. You can't. Okay. okay. All right. So add the rest of the flour. In You're gonna add uh, one stick of butter, unsalted, cut up. Oh, hey, okay. now you're doing now we're like gonna, yeah. We're gonna do some salt. Here's some salt. Okay. Two spoonfuls of salt, and then we're gonna cheat. Yeast. We're gonna, you got a little bit of yeast. We have okay. two spoonfuls of yeast. Yeah, that's why this is the lazy or the poor, you know, because if you're not, you wouldn't use yeast in a traditional sourdough. But there's no shame in this game. This is no. just your own thing. No, and so then we're just going to mix this all together or knead it for seven minutes. Okay, you got your dough hook Whoa. on. Whoa, Take yeah. Whoa. Jeez. Tim the tool man Taylor over here. <laughs> He's getting after it. He got one speed. Mrs. Barrett's going to have a lot of notes for me today. Because <laughs> he says I'm spasmodic already. She's like, just slow down. Take it easy. This is and this is not going to do anything to dispel that. Okay, so moving slowly now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a little more intentional, shall we? Seven it. minutes, we're going to let this rise for an hour in here covered. Yeah. And then we're going to have a, a big gob of dough. We're going to cut that in half. Okay. okay. In this situation, we can make two of the sourdough uh, loaves out of that. Like the little boule right. deals So or we're going to take that and put it in a Dutch oven with parchment paper. Yep. The parchment paper is to get it out so you can preheat the Dutch oven when you're cooking it. Yep. And oh. so we're going to let this rise for about three to four hours. Okay. It takes a good chunk of time for that natural yeast to get going again. Yeah, Plus but that's so not cold. as long as sourdough. Yeah. I mean, sourdough, you got to do like the bulk going. fermentation, and then you got to do the second rise. It's a whole thing. Right. And so kind of the, until it doubles in size, so however long, however long that takes. Okay. Okay, um, so you said preheat the Dutch oven. 
So when we go to cook it three hours from now, we're going to put this in the oven when we preheat the oven so this gets hot as well. Oh. Take this out. Okay, yeah. so the Take oven's hot and the, the Dutch oven is hot. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So 450. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I do like to do, a little tip here, is I, I put this on the burner and get this warm. Mm. Because it's just so cold, it's hard to get things to rise. I put yeah. this on the gas stove. Five seconds, put that on here, that kind of helps proof it. And that helps it rise. Big time, right. That's oh, wonderful. That's, good trick. Okay. that's really smart. So that's for sourdough um, loaf. Right. You see there. If you so if you want to make this guy. Yeah. Right. If you want to do croissants or the the the, um, the layered loaf, we're going to do this. So we're going to roll it out. Yep. Yep. The and other half, we're going to roll gonna it out. We're going to both take a, take a butter spreader. These are my African butter, butter Ooh, spreaders. These are cool. These are beautiful. Yeah, they really are. Ebony wood. And you're going to put butter on the bottom half. So quick, put butter on the bottom oh half. Oh my gosh, he's making us work so fast. I, I get so stressed. <laughs> he's like, quick, go okay. no, 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 bottom half. Bottom oh, half. Oh, <laughs> You two, like between the both of you, okay. this is a I'll, lot to manage. Scrape, 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 scrape. <laughs> there we go. This is your life. What is it like when you go home with three okay. kids so, and Jay? So no offense, much. Jay. Yeah, so and, much. And, my, and my wife will say, See, you half listen. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, I did. Okay, now fold that over. Okay. Take that, take that and fold that over Ready? in half. Uh -oh. All right, now put butter on just the middle third. Middle third, middle Got third. It, man. Middle third. Middle third, right? Middle third. So this is kind of, you know, this is a quick and easy way or poor way of, of getting these layers that, without doing the traditional turn. Yes. Right. Okay, now put butter on top of that. Oh my okay. gosh, this is fun yeah, though. This is. The whole the thing? Whole thing? Yeah. No, 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 just right here. What? This part. This, this part. The whole this Well, part. yeah, yes, yes. The whole yeah, this the, part. This folded part. I'm getting <laughs> real aggressive with my butter <laughs> usage yes, here. Yes, like, I'm liberal. Okay, now put butter on half of this, bottom half bottom of Bottom half. Okay. Right. okay. So every turn we, we get, we double our layers. Don't you feel like it's like Simon Says? I know, <laughs> it's like I know. Simon Says with us. And, okay, one more. We're going to flip this over, and if we can oh get, my goodness. squeeze one more layer, uh, one more turn out of this. Wow. Well, of course we can. Of course oh we can. Gosh. Okay, put butter on that half. That half. Okay, and then yeah. how long do you bake this guy? Well, no, first got to put this in the, in the fridge for 30 minutes, and until we get it. I feel like I'm in a pit crew. I know. Like, Woo! So there we go. <laughs> there we go. That is 20 layers. Wow. That is 20 layers we did in just seconds. You're going to put this in the fridge, let it firm up. If we roll this out now, butter is going to fly everywhere. Right. You want the butter to, to firm up 30 minutes. Then you can go ahead and make your stuff, or you can do it again. Oh, and then oh. you get like you these flaky layers. 480 layers then. Oh my God. Oh, if you do it twice. God. So what we're going to do, say, say we're going to be lazy or, yeah. or poor, and we're going to put this out, we're just going to roll this out like we did before with the layers. Okay. And then for croissant, we're going to cover the whole thing with butter, mm -hmm. like, like yeah. you, we're doing. Yeah, like I wanted and to do. And then for um, the loaf, we're going to sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese and garlic salt and roll that up. Okay, can we try it? Because we're going to have to yes. go. Yes. I know. And I've then never oh, you cut it into triangles and you roll it up into these croissants. Yeah, this is good, Rob. And then you check. Have you, do you guys have one of these? Uh -huh, I love yeah. that. This oh is my the God, are you pen? kidding me? This is real good. Well, I'm not a total hack. I mean, <laughs> wow. come on, dude. Things that don't work. Rob, wait a minute. Try this one. This is the good stuff. This All right. Is try one. Then we got to go. We got to try it in the break. Okay. Yeah, so we'll so break. lastly, Thanks, Rob. Okay. <laughs> one, five seconds. Easy. Oh, my gosh. So I'm gluten-free, mm -hmm. right? And I've tried everything. I imported flour from France, tried all the sourdough, but I can... Look at you. you I, didn't, you're still standing. This. this is amazing. This method makes dough <laughs> bread that I can eat. Okay. Do the best. I'm gluten free too, and I'm going to have some of this stuff. Yes. All right, of course, we posted this recipe on twinseaslive.com. I love the mixer still going. Okay. <laughs>